Hey, it's Doug. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video at Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop, be sure to check that video out first and come right back here. Okay, so here's the explanation for the Lifesaver's magic trick. You're gonna need a handkerchief, shoestring, Lifesaver's, and I always get an uh, extra package of Lifesaver's and put it inside of a plastic bag. These are gonna actually be my replacements for the secret, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment. And I use these sort of as a convincer at the end because people will kind of assume what the secret is, but by you having this, it eliminates what they're thinking. All right, so let's get started. First things first is you're gonna to need to open up your Lifesaver's And the more you do, the longer the effect takes, so I wouldn't do too many, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here goes step one. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shoelace. <clears throat> the first lifesaver that you put onto the shoelace, you're gonna just thread one side of the shoelace in, and you're gonna kinda get it to the center. You can just hold these two in the air, and then kinda stretch your finger down to the middle, and that'll give you your midpoint there and then you'll know exactly where to put the lifesaver. So, pull the lifesaver right down to the midpoint. Now, after the first step, we've locked in the first lifesaver. This lifesaver is vertical. As you notice, it's vertical, it's up and down. The rest of the lifesavers are gonna go on in the horizontal placement. So you're gonna take both ends of the shoelace and you're gonna place that right through the center. Now you have to do them one at a time. If you have a bigger shoelace, obviously they can't fit through at the same time. So you put one end in, and then you put the other end in. And at that point, you'll just pull the lifesaver down until it rests on top of the one you've already placed. Now, when it gets down there, you don't want this lifesaver to be horizontal. You wanna keep that lifesaver vertical because you're, you're creating an image here that these lifesavers are locking in on top of this lifesaver. So this lifesaver prevents these ones from coming off the bottom and there's no way for them to come off the top because spectators are gonna be holding the ends of the shoelace, okay? So I'm gonna fast forward this part, but basically you're gonna take the remaining lifesavers and you're gonna put them horizontally just like we have this yellow one here on top of each other. So let's do that. We have now threaded all the lifesavers onto the shoestring, and this is exactly what it would look like. You'll notice that only one lifesaver is in a vertical alignment, and the rest of them are in a horizontal alignment. So you wanna make sure you set them all up just like this. And now I'm gonna show you my tip. The reason why I use extra lifesavers, and I keep them in a clear plastic bag so they don't get kind of sticky by sitting out in something else. So if you keep them in a clear plastic bag and kind of keep them somewhere cool till you're ready to use them, they're always ready to go. Now the reason I keep extra ones is because what ends up happening is the secret to this, how you're gonna get these lifesavers off is you're gonna break this bottom lifesaver. Now, I'm gonna encourage you to make sure that you practice breaking this lifesaver because the colorful lifesavers most times they've been sitting on the shelf for a very long time. Uh, everyone knows what lifesavers are, but they're not very popular as they used to be. So if you go into a store and you find lifesavers, more than likely they've been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. How you're gonna get these off is while the handkerchief is hanging over them, you're actually gonna take the bottom one and break it in half. After you break it in half, you're then gonna take the broken pieces and hide them in your fingers, okay? So once you hide them inside of your fingers, so let me bring in an already broken piece, just so you can see, this is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna break your lifesaver in half. So if you can imagine, here's your setup. Imagine that this purple one is actually where the green one was. Okay, so if you can imagine that, you're gonna break it, and once you do break it, there's nothing holding these lifesavers from coming off. Now, they won't just fall right off just because um, the shoestring will, will kind of be bowed out and it'll kind of hold them. So you'll actually need to pull them down and kind of 
pull the shoestring up just a little bit to kind of wiggle them off into your hand. Now, the reason why I have the extra lifesavers is because now this bottom lifesaver is broken. It's, it, you're not gonna show the spectator that. What happens is once you break them, you're just gonna slide them into your hand. And remember, all of this is happening underneath this handkerchief. The shoelace is being held on these ends and you have the handkerchief draped over top of the middle. The handkerchief will be hanging over top of the shoelace and this will be dangling in the air just like that. Okay? So everything I'm showing you is gonna happen underneath. So you'll be going under this while the spectators are holding the two ends to perform this. But just for explanation, I'm gonna open up the handkerchief and I'm gonna remove it um, so you guys aren't confused, okay? So you'll go under the handkerchief. You'll have to make a loud noise because with these hard lifesavers, when they snap, they make a very loud sound. Um, and I'm gonna snap one for you and kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like. My recommendation would be to use, possibly use the mint lifesavers. Um, I like using the colorful ones because it gives a nice color contrast to the shoestring. Um, but if you use a red shoestring and you use white lifesavers, the mint style, um, then it's perfectly fine. But you just don't wanna use a white shoestring and white lifesavers. It'll make it very hard for your audience to understand what's going on and may confuse them. So once again, this does make a loud sound when you snap it, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. We're gonna run through the performance of this and I'll explain why we have the extra lightsaber. So here is the run through of the effect in an explanation style. Whichever lightsaber you're gonna put on first, you wanna have a duplicate of that lifesaver. So for instance, when you hold these lifesavers in this in a bag, you want to have this maybe this duplicate just sitting in your pocket. You've placed it right before uh, you begin this effect. So if you have the lifesavers inside of the bag, I'll take these out so you won't get confused and just remove these. So you can have these lifesavers in the bag, duplicates of each one of these colors. So you have all the colors inside of this bag as duplicates. Um, because you may open up the wrapper in front of your audience and not know which lifesaver is going to be first. But if you know you have a specific duplicate, then you can find that color lifesaver and make sure you put that one on first. Okay? So we're going to run through this. Now, mine is going to be green is first, so I'm going to take the green and I'm just going to put it away. Okay? It's actually going to go in the same pocket that this bag will go or the same pocket as where you're gonna pull out your handkerchief. So I'll put the handkerchief and the lifesaver in the same pocket. Make sure you put the lifesaver in first so that you don't accidentally pull the handkerchief out and the lifesaver comes out with it, okay? So here we go. Now, I pull out my lifesavers, I thread on the green, um, as I explained earlier, now we're threaded. I've now asked the spectator to hold both ends of the shoestring and then I reach into my pocket, I pull out the handkerchief and the duplicate lifesaver, the one that matches the first lifesaver you've put on in the vertical position. I'll take the handkerchief, show both sides of it to the spectator, one, two, drape it over the top. I say, now this is very hard to do, but I wanna do this underneath the handkerchief so I don't reveal the secret. So now what I like to do is I like to say, I need everybody to say magic on the count of three. Okay, it's better if there's more people because it'll be louder. Now you wanna practice breaking this because if you just go out and perform this, I guarantee when you think you're gonna break it, it's not gonna break. It's gonna break in between you counting, it's gonna break in between um, everyone talking. Uh, so it'll happen right after everybody says magic or it'll happen when you, you're telling them to count to three. So you wanna practice it and kinda of get a method of how you're gonna break this. Me, from time to time, uh, I've broken it and it's been outside of when I wanted it to break, um, but I have a lot of noise going on, a lot of different things. So my tip would be to start off with the white ones. They're easier to break, not as loud. They're a little softer than the hard candy. Um, and when you're breaking this, I usually just take the, the thumb and the first finger and hold one side and take the thumb on the other side and push it down. 
And once I push it down, you heard the crack. But if you have them say magic at that time, one, two, three, magic, and you break it, this is the position you're left in. You have a cracked lifesaver resting on your right hand, and then you have the rest of the lifesavers. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take the broken pieces, roll them down into your right hand into finger prong position, and then take your left hand and drop the rest of the lifesavers right into your hand, just like that. Now mind you, the handkerchief is gonna be on the top, so you'll be doing this underneath the handkerchief. Once they're all in your hand, you'll say, I think you guys did it. You hold the shoestring here. You come over top, because the handkerchief will be here. You reach over top with the hand that has the hidden broken pieces. You grab the handkerchief off the top. At the moment you pull the handkerchief off, you just want to take these broken pieces and kind of wrap them inside the handkerchief as you put the handkerchief away in your pocket immediately. So once you put the handkerchief, once it leaves their view and goes into your pocket, nobody's thinking about the handkerchief anymore. So that will be gone, that'll be in, in your pocket. And once the handkerchief is off, you kind of open up your hand and you show that all the lifesavers are off of the shoestring. Now their first reaction is gonna be like, how did you do that? Somebody may say, I heard something break. I heard something break. Now, the great thing about this is the colors you started with, you end with. The number of lifesavers you started with, you end with because of the added lifesaver. That tip is very important. It's really what convinces them that a miracle just happened. Without that, someone can put two and two together to say, okay, you broke one somehow and got rid of it because you're one light or you're missing one. So you wanna make sure you have that duplicate lightsaber to add to the pile because the one that you break, you're gonna ditch with the handkerchief. And once you do that, you open your hand, they're all here. So they're gonna say one broke. And I say, it, it does sound like that, but remember what I told you, these colorful lifesavers are magical. It's almost like they dislocate themselves and then fuse themselves back together. It's amazing. I mean, even you said it, even you said you heard something break. But look, check them out. All of these are solid. We started with six, we end with six. And in fact, if you wanna take this further, you can, you can have someone else write down the colors. Um, you can really just keep adding to this and make this such a big effect. Um, the way I performed it was kind of the quick version for you guys, just so you can kind of see it done. But you can make this a really big spectacle. I mean, the more people you have, the better, because you got more noise, you have more things that you can ask people to do. You can have somebody say, hey, I want you to just write down the colors we're using. Um, I want you to write down how many we have so you can make sure I don't take any away or add any or anything like that. And nobody's, nobody's thinking anything like that, even if you say it. So. Now you have the ending. All six of these are in your hand. You can pass them out. People are gonna be looking at them, see if they come apart. Um, somebody may even break one and be like, this is what it sound like. I mean, I've, I've heard so many different things, so I don't want you guys to get discouraged. Um, go out and do this. This is incredible. Um, so once again, this is the explanation for the Lifesaver Magic Trick. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, please make sure you come back. Every Wednesday, we'll have a new video for you guys. Thank you so much. If you guys learned anything from this video, be sure to let me know by hitting the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to get notifications every time I put up a new video to fool your friends.